uh, my 12th birthday, I actually took my first um, hit of meth. And by the time I was 17, I, I suffered a heart attack from, um, from meth use. So I was drinking a lot over the weekends with my friends. Um, it started to escalate and progress really, really quickly. I took my first drink at like 12 years old. I, I, was all, I, I split a six pack with a, a neighbor friend of mine. And we uh, got the six pack and went down to the school and we're out there on the park and everything. I was on my fourth, I'd finished my fourth beer and he hadn't even opened his second one. I started using alcohol as a escape mechanism, especially in the party scene, I guess. I woke up in the morning and the thought of not getting high just scared the shit out of me. And I could not understand why anyone would willingly get up in the morning without having drugs. I started using when I was, uh, started using and drinking, maybe like 12 or 13 years old. Um, not drinking a lot, just, you know, having sips of whatever's laying around at, you know, friend's house, parent's house, grandparent's house, you know, family gatherings and stuff like that. I went through a coma twice. Uh, I drank and took myself into a coma. I wasn't trying to kill myself, wasn't, didn't want to, but I got, my depression got so bad that I was okay if I didn't wake up. Before I was an addict, I, we had great expectations. You know, you have your kids, you want the best, the world. When you find out as an addict, it hurts. It hurts really bad. What 449 does better than anything else is we blend recovery and therapy. It is important for people to talk to a counselor while they're going through recovery. The reason is quite simple. You're not alone. Counselors play a significant role in recovery. They help to understand the disease process. And when you look at specific therapies, whether it be group therapy or individual psychotherapy, we understand that then the patient, the person, the suffering addict, will be able to recognize truths that in themselves will not recognize. So we understand that counselors work because they allow the individual to face realities that they would normally face. In one-on-one -on -one counseling, the thing that we want to do is have a plan of action where you sit down with your counselor and you decide strengths, weaknesses, areas you want to work on, specific areas that will get to uh, the issues that you're concerned with and maybe the issues that you're not so knowledgeable about, things that you're not quite aware of. This is a time where you got to get honest with somebody, you got to get real with somebody, you got to start getting into recovery and with a one-on-one -on -one counselor who is willing to spend as much time as needed with you, you can start feeling that. You can start opening up, you can start getting comfortable because now you're not dealing with loved ones that can't relate, but rather you're dealing with a counselor who's been where you've been. You can't always talk about all of your issues on a, on a group level. There are certain things that some people just aren't com comfortable discussing in front of a lot of a lot of people. When I was 14, like I, uh, I was um, sexually assaulted, and um, it's ridiculous. Why am I crying? I um, was a mutilator, so I was cutting for one thing, and that's what um, alerted my parents. But one way or another, it's important that you discuss these things with some kind of a neutral party. And when you are able to work with a substance abuse counselor, like the counselors that we have at 449 Recovery, you're able to have somebody new who you know is, has no bias against you, who you know has been where you've been. When you, when you kind of reach that tough spot in the communication process, and you're trying to get through it, and you're not sure how, you can actually use the processes that we use to get through those things. These are, ch these are chances for you to talk to each other, and we're going to teach you how to do that. I became a counselor because I had gone through recovery many times before thinking I got to get it. Once I get it, I can go back to being life on life's terms. Once I decided to be a counselor, at that point I realized this is where my calling is. This is where I belong because I've been successful at doing it for a number of years. I especially love those moments in therapy when the patient sitting across from me, you can just see it in their eyes when they get it. They make that shift in their mind or their heart and that's, that's my psychic income. That's what gets me going. When we talk about counseling, 
we have to look at people as individuals. I remember a particular case, and in this case, it was a very nice young man. He was brought in by his parents. An intervention was made. He needed to be detoxified, and we detoxified him. He needed to be rehabilitated, and we began the process. And I remember him being very adamant about having a counselor, because at the end of the day, what does he know that I don't know? What I saw after the progression, after three months, was a person that had a completely different mindset. And at the beginning, he believed that nobody could help him. He believed that he was worthless. And through this counseling, he began to recognize the wonderful person that he had inside. And at the end of those three months, I was actually facing a different person. So counseling works because changes are inherent in any human being. At 449 Recovery, we are blessed enough to have people from all walks of life. And we can't put everybody through the exact same treatment program. We have to be able to come up with a treatment program that, that they, have, they can actually relate to and then apply back to their normal life. And I think that's where private counseling really plays a big role. If you feel like that you need to have somebody who's professional help you, pick up the phone, make the call, don't wait. You never know what will happen tomorrow. You need to do it as soon as possible. Click on the link, fill out the information, give us a call. It can't hurt to do that. But pick up the phone, please make that call. Your loved one or yourself, you may need this. Our counselors are standing by to help you make the first step toward a life free of drugs and alcohol. Don't waste another moment as a life depends on it. Call us today at 855-449-4490. That's 855-449-4490. Or visit us online at www.449recovery.org. Help is waiting for you.